So we have some bag valve mask samples that were sent to us for evaluation, and we're kind of fascinated by them. Try, try manually first. Just see if it does. Oh, you know, that's easy. Right. They unscrew. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and open right, it up then. There's your mask. All right. And it's got your oxygen tubing. All right. This is touted as taking up minimal storage space. So let's go ahead and uncollapse the bag. Very good. And then the, there's the mask. All right. So we got this oxygen reservoir bag, and you got the oxygen tubing there. So let's hook it up to oxygen then too. Okay. All right. Let's right. see what happens on that. So these are the same. Yeah, yeah, crank it up there. Nice. All right. So that's starting the reservoir bag starting to open up. Okay. All right. Now, so I want one of us to try it, see how, because sometimes you can pre oxygenate with bag valve masks, and the pre oxygenation is actually sometimes excellent. I want to just see how it feels if you can breathe through it. Emily, you want to be our patient here? Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. So. Now, so you're not going to bag for it. You're just going to put that mask, okay. put the mask right on her face, okay. and you kind of tell us how it feels and all that. All right. If you get claustrophobic, and okay, uh, okay now go ahead and breathe and tell breathe. us how that works. Bring your head back. So, are you having any trouble breathing through that mask? None, none at all. Okay. Yeah, so as she breathes in and out, so this is this would be an excellent tool for pre oxygenation based on this. So you can see the bag is, is moving in and out. Now, is that mask is that mask too big for her small face? Um, I mean it seems to fit right on. It's not in her eyes. We're not having any air leaking bo below the jaw. Uh, it it seems to it gets up the bridge of her nose, but you're not yeah. feeling any pressure in your eyes or anything like that. Yeah, do you, do you feel any air leaking out? No, okay. Okay. What did you say, Emily? No. <laughs> we can't hear you, Emily. Okay, now, right. so I want you to bag for her now. Okay, right, so we're just going to go, we're Emily, just relax, we're just going to give you a little bit of air when you breathe in. Do you feel that little bit of pressure? Is it a lot? Okay, okay. You okay? Okay, now what I want you to do, Emily, we're not going to bag, but what I want you to do is breathe in and out, hyperventilate. So if you have a patient who's really working hard to breathe, uh, now she's actually starting to collapse that bag a little bit, which which is kind of an interesting thing. And because the question is, can you sometimes overwhelm your bag? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna crank it all the way up now. I'm cranking yeah. it all the way up now. Can, can okay. All right, now go. Now see if you can make that bag collapse. No, the bag's in collapsing. Good, good. All right, all right. Okay, that's enough. She's gonna she's gonna get. No, we're good. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so so tell us, would you turn that off, turn the oxygen off? Yeah, yeah. So so did you have any resistance breathing in? No, um, you could definitely feel that there was a little bit of a pressure, but it wasn't difficult. Okay, so it's kind of maybe almost a little C BiPAP, CPAP sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Let's open this one up. And I, I really like how easy these, these babies just open up. And and again, the storage space, I mean, you can put that in a backpack. You it said it's 75% uh, smaller than the, the average BVM. Yeah. So yeah. so here we go. So we're going to just twist. And it has that spring that kind of opens up. Okay. And it, it told us to take the, the mask off. So All that's right. good. We're doing that. And then to take this out. Okay. Oh, so this one, does this have oxygen tubing with it? This one doesn't. This one doesn't. Yeah. Okay, so that's the difference. So the black, so the black, make the smooth, Tim. Come on. <laughs> there that's, you go. It's not bad. It's, it's a little. You know, no, but that's. It's not yeah, bad. Yeah, it's nothing negative. Beautiful, like it. Okay, good. All right, now, so grab the oxygen tubing from the other one. All right, so, so um, Tim's got a beard, and so we're gonna see how this mask works with 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 the bearded one. That feel okay? Yeah. Okay. okay, so now, so now, uh, Tim, go ahead and breathe, and t and tell us how this feels. It feels effortless. Okay. Well, I think I I'd say. 
And you're moving the, you're, you're collapsing the bag a little bit, it's okay. I said, it, it, I said effortless, there, there, I would say that there's a, a slight... Resistance. There's a, yeah, slight resistance, but not significant by any means. Okay, all right. So how's that feel, Tim? I do feel slightly near my, my right Near, near your eyes. Okay. Okay. It's okay, I mean, you can push, you can push hard if you like. Okay, I just don't because it, yeah, it's a fairly soft. It, it's a nice cushy mask. It's yeah, very yeah. Cushion. Yeah, it's going in. It is, it is going okay, in. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn up the uh, oxygen to, to maximum, and you tell me how it feels when we do that. All right. So I just crank the uh, oxygen up to, to max. Okay, now hyperventilate. All right, here we go. It's an interesting experiment. You could almost overcome your uh, ventilator bag, your reservoir bag, by uh, hyperventilating. But but it fills up extremely rapidly. See that? So, so Tim, how's the breathing feel? That's plenty of air. Okay. <laughs> Have we caused a pneumothorax yet? No barrel trauma? Not yet. Okay. All right. So breathe one more time. And, and that's fairly effortless breathing, right? Or is it completely effort, effortless? You can take the mask off. Yeah. There's there's a minimal amount of resistance n noted, but it's it's uh it's not it's not difficult by okay. any stretch. Okay. Okay. All right. Good enough. All right. Hey, thanks you guys. You were you were a great team today.